want to solve applications of slope-intercept equations. Let's look at the following scenario. A manager at a restaurant determined that the average dinner cost $18 per dinner. Additionally, it costs the restaurant $620 to stay open each evening. First, we want to write an equation for the scenario. And then second, use that equation to find the cost to serve 50 dinners. So we start with our familiar y equals mx plus b. But notice we have words. We have to be able to interpret things. b is going to be what we start with, the starting amount. m, the slope, is how things change for each new item. So when we think of our equation, y equals mx plus b, we're thinking of y equals how much would it cost for each new item times x plus the starting amount. Now in this particular case, what is the starting amount? And the starting amount would be, notice, $620. So we write b is going to be equal to $620. So now we have y equals mx plus 620. Now how about for each new? Every time we have a new dinner, it's going to cost an additional $18. So we would write y equals 18x plus 620. Now this kind of makes sense because suppose there were no dinners, it would still cost $620. So if we put a 0 in for x, 18 times 0 would be 0 plus 620. It would in fact cost $620. Suppose they only served one dinner we would replace x with 1. 18 times 1 plus 620 and we'd wind up with our $638. Let us continue to decide what is the cost to serve 50 dinners. Now since we have our equation all we have to do is interpret where we replace 50. Now notice in this case x is going to stand for the number of dinners and y is going to represent the cost to the restaurant. So since we're interested in serving 50 dinners, we replace x with 50. Since there's no symbol here, we assume it means multiply. So in order to determine our answer, we take 18 times 50. So we have 900 plus 620. And we're left with $1,520 for the cost to serve the 50 dinners. Notice how having an equation we can find the cost of 50 dinners or 10 dinners or 100 dinners, any one we want. That's why x is the variable and can be replaced with different values.